Freedom of speech is one thing, but my sister got stabbed. I'm here. not your sister. She got stabbed. Who stabbed here. me? Who stabbed me? I don't know, but I'll, Oh, you don't know? I don't I'll know. help you out. He told me today you got I'll, stabbed. I'll help you out. A Muslim who goes to mosque regularly yeah. and who is who has friends yeah, from no, speakers' no, corner. But look, look at this. Salman Rushdie is being attacked here, and it's vile what's happened to Salman Rushdie. As a fellow Christian friend. Fire! Amen. So, so Hatun, good afternoon. As normal, Wendell Daniel from Street Night. I would like, like, as normal, I would like to ask you a few questions, but this week specifically to do about what happened in America in regards to the satanic verse. So, oh, so can you yeah, give yeah, yeah, me yeah. your thoughts what on what happened to Salman Rushdie on Friday? Um, Salman Rushdie is an author who wrote many many books one what of his books is one of the one, one of the, the his book is the now satanic verses more hatred. as this now, as he wrote this in the 80s he was yes, a Salman Rushdie wrote a book did, it, did Salman Rushdie write a book so as he wrote the book what did he write can I just say I admire you a lot? No, sir, sir, I'm interviewing. Oh, sorry. So he wrote the book, what book did which caused, which caused, it's a fiction novel, caused Muslims to yes, the Muslims, yeah. put very death, bad people, very bad people, put death sentence on his head. Hallelujah! Over, over last 30 years. Britain failed to look after him. Britain failed to take care of him. He moved to the state as his life was about to get to normal. He went to this uh, this talk where he's talking. The talk is like interesting. Talk is about America is the safe heaven for the authors. And a man from southern of Lebanon Step, steps to the stage 12 times stops 75 years old man that's disgusting 12 times not wow. once not twice 12 times from neck from face from abdomen disgusting why because he wrote a book what was the book called satanic verses it's disgusting isn't it why did it attack such an innocent man who's an author and he's making good money for people. It's disgusting. It's not about money. It's not so about if you money. come back to what I'm doing. So how did you feel, Hatun, when you discovered that an author who, who's a fatwa had been put on his head Sorry, by, what's the uh, fatwa? by the Ayatollah Khomeini who's back in that? the 80s? You know, you know, how did you feel when, when you discovered what had happened? Oh, I, di I didn't know about he had a fatwa on his head for a long time ago. What but is a fatwa? It's been... Sorry, what can, is a fatwa? Can you give me a little bit of space, please? Yeah, oh, sorry. What Thank is a fatwa? Sir, so, I'm interviewing you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. But it's been over 30 years. And the gentleman who attacked him is only 24 years old. So, he wasn't even born when the book was out there, when people were reading the book. It is, I think, disgusting and disturbing that people are being offended by fictions, by novels, and I'm putting money on someone else's head. That is not acceptable. Doesn't matter what is your position is. That is not acceptable at all. But the problem also comes, comes to stage is reality of the satanic verses. It is in Islamic sources. Even though book is a fiction, yes, it is. in the Quran, in the Quran, you've got these satanic verses. Muslim scholars, Muslim, Muslim historians identifies that that happened. Muhammad received the revelation from Satan. Quran is not ashamed of to tell humanity. Biography of Muhammad, it's here. It's not shame of to tell humanity. Gabriel comes and then confronts Muhammad for receiving the revelation from the Satan. Tabari is not ashamed to tell us that. But 21st century Muslims find it offensive that their prophet is receiving revelation from Satan. And from a fiction book, man who is 75 years old, he's like age of my grandfather. He's not, he doesn't even have any way to defend himself, comes there. And you know what is another worst thing is? 
gentleman who int intended to kill him apparently uh, appealed not guilty. Second degree, second degree murder. Can I ask a his, question? His one question. Appealed not guilty. One question only. And another disturbing thing is, no one is talking about the links of this with Islam. No one is talking links of this with the Hezbollah Excellent. or Excellent. Muslim yes. Muslim scholars. Yes. Have you heard how people are like praising on social media Who's that who? someone someone decided to take the life of 75 years old man? That's disgusting. It's As I look around yeah. speakers' corner today, I fail to see the usual heavyweights that I would normally see. The Ali Dawas the Shamsi, and every now and then we'll see Mohammed Hijab. But I haven't seen any of those heavyweights down here today condemning what happened in America. Why do you think that is? Why they're not here to condemn it? Because it is in Islamic sources. I've got the hadiths in my back, where in, according to Islam, if someone feels that the Muhammad is being insulted, they can simply go and kill that person. Muhammad gives permission to such a thing. So Muslim, Muslim missionaries in the, like they can, the, if they come and then they say he shouldn't be killed, they will be seen as, oh, it's okay to abuse Muhammad. If they say, oh, he should be killed, then they will be identified as, oh, they are willing to kill those who insult Muhammad. But Muhammad is dead. How can that person is being insulted? That's true. I agree with that. As yeah, you yeah. know, Hatsu, agree, yeah. last year in July, you was attacked here at Speaker's Corner yourself. Was she attacked? And someone tried to kill you. Wow. What concerns do you really? have? But I always answer this question. When we see what happened to Salman Rushdie in America because a fatwa was put on his head because of the satanic verses. Do you see similarities in regards to what he has said in the book and your teachings down here at Speaker's all, Corner? All I am doing is reading the Islamic sources at Speaker's Corner and asking the relevant question. If such a thing happens in the Great Britain, I think Britain is not great at all. But when it happened in France, first couple of days we said we are all Charlie Hebdois. But now, media cannot even show the pictures of Charlie Hebdo. I know they can't. Like, yeah. even like from Friday, media is not able to Very say bad, right? this hey, has yeah, something to do with Islam or something to do with the fatwa he, he had in his head. Why? Because out of fear, people are forced into the fear and now freedom of thinking, freedom of action is being taken away from people. Because, final question, because of what happened in America to Salman Rushdie, do you believe that that freedom of speech, that freedom of expression has been destroyed, eroded? Well, you know, what, 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 Definitely, what, 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 I think before, before the state, you need to look at this country. A teacher is in a hiding place because he showed the cartoons of Muhammad in a classroom. He's still been hiding in Britain. A teacher are being sucked, simply they have a mug, mug has the pictures of Muhammad and Jesus. Yes, that's true. Yeah, so it is, yeah. it is happening here. Yes. Grooming gangs. Did you not hear the reports? Have you not heard the reports? Police officers, social media, didn't want to identify the Islamic rape gangs. Why? Because they didn't want to become Islamophobe. True, yeah. So I they agree. were willing to see thousands of lives of the girls are being destroyed. It is happening here. We've got like so-called silent blaspheme law and it is actively taking apart. As normal, Hatuma, thank you very much for giving Streetlight this opportunity amazing, amazing. to engage with you. And I will continue to engage with you over the coming weeks. And what I do hope also is that some of those people who come down here to observe, like you, sir, you would learn certain behaviours 
went into rooms of being conducted. Yes, we were talking and, about and that also, earlier. That, also, sir, you know, this lady sir, is an amazing lady, and, also, and I was helping her sir, with her interviews. Sir, so you must so we always got to understand when there's two sides of the coin and there's a debate. My brother here, who's commenting, is an amazing guy. And he looks after people all around the community. Sir, if you listen, yes, sir. That's not Thank issue. you very much, sir. I'm, and I will, you must I will take observe, on board sir. your stop your coming respect. so close and going into people. I am not going. You, you do allow. Learn. You must not yes, do it. We have to be peaceful with each other and move forward. But you must Thank learn you, certain behaviours. Yes, sir. we are learning certain behaviours. Do not do it here at Speaker's Corner. But you came up to me last no, time. No, no, I'm not talking about me and you. Oh, you, you gave me a hug last time. I, I'll give you a hug again, yeah, but I'm yeah, not yeah. talking about you. All right, I, I'm getting confused. You I'm getting confused. Nice to meet you. Uh, my, my name is Joel. Yes, yes, I, I know, yeah, I've been watching you, uh, your videos for like a year oh, and a half no, around. Sir. I watched you with David Wood and other Christians. Yes, yes, yes. So it's really awesome that I get to meet you. So. I, uh, no, we need more people yeah, like you out here, so I really appreciate you what you do. You. Thank so you. Where are you coming from? Uh, U.S. Oh, you are visiting from the yeah, yeah, yeah. I came to England mainly because of Speaker's Corner. What? Yeah, I've always wanted to come you've got, here. You've got freedom of speech in the U.S.? Yeah. Uh, what are your... Uh, when did you come? When did you arrive? Uh, I got here the 2nd of August. So okay. I've been here two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on what happened to Salman Rushdie in the state? I'm sorry? What are your thoughts on what happened to Salman Rushdie in the state? In the, in the state? Salman Rushdie got attacked. Oh, I, don't, I didn't hear about that. Someone attacked? Salman Rushdie is the author of the Satanic Verses. Oh, the Satanic Verses. Yeah, he, he got attacked on Friday. Yeah. He got stopped 12 times. He's in hospital now. What do you think about it? Uh, yeah, I think it's horrible. I mean, I, I haven't heard about that, but yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's horrible. It happened in your country. Okay. So there is not such a freedom over there, I guess. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, how it is. Like, everything... Christianity can be attacked, but other faiths can't be attacked. It's only, it's only Islam is untouchable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank, thank you, Atun. It's awesome to meet you. God bless you, sir. Um, I wanted to make a point on when the gentlemen call people, I don't know who is he, but when people are being called to have peace with one another, it becomes very difficult to have peace with one another when there is an ideology which you cannot even write a joke about, which you cannot even write a novel about, is outside of the criticism. So, if you cannot critique the ideology, then you, you cannot have debates and discussions on the issues you find it disturbing. I believe only way people can have peace with one another, one another is when people have true peace with God himself. I'm Christian, I have peace with God because what his son did for me. Therefore, I am commanded to love one another and live in peace with one another. But I, the other ideology doesn't allow that. And it is heartbreaking. 75 years old man is in hospital because there are people who cannot control their emotions. You have to pay money to buy that book. If you don't want to read it, don't buy the book, don't spend your money. You already probably looked at the cover and then thought, oh, I might be, find this offensive. Just don't buy it, don't read it. If you don't like it, don't come to Speaker's Corner. Speech. We talked about freedom of speech earlier. I've just been told by this gentleman, and that gentleman, you've been stabbed right here in this park. That is very scary. My heart feels for you. If you have any problems, or I feel like there's difference between freedom of speech and just to piss people off. Same when you go to a football game, okay? Simple terms. You're not going to wear a United top I was not, at no, a Chelsea ground. I didn't know you like, got you're not gonna, Why would you put yourself in a situation like that? Sister, there's I feel difference. for you. I'm not here to like. He just told me today like, that you've been stabbed. Why did you not tell me that before? Sorry, I didn't speech. get your point. The difference between freedom of speech and freedom of wearing something is to piss people off. You're looking for trouble. That's all it is. So, by, by, by default, by default, freedom of speech, freedom of speech is going to offend people. Yeah, but why would you do that? So, so why, why does Quran, why, why does Quran call me the worst of creatures? Why does Quran, why does Quran call Jesus 
you're as a very, just a you're prophet. You're a very nice lady. That's we spoke to. We spoke to each other you're before. A fake Christian. What's a fake Christian? You're a fake Your nan's Christian. a fake Christian. I met her last summer. Ask him, ask him, yeah. ask him if Mohammed's whoa, 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 a prophet. Whoa, 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 hang on. Prophet. You ask told him. me you shook my hand earlier, it's on camera. It's you said your prophet. nan's a fake I, it's it's Christian. Mohammed is a false prophet. Your nan's a Muhammad Christian. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'm not with Mohammed. I'm not with Mohammed. Bye bye. You know what I mean? Listen, what you from China? Are you from China? No. Okay. Do you condemn the stuff that's happening in China? Huh? Do you condemn the stuff that's happening in China? Yes. Do you? Do you condemn yes. the grooming guns? So why are you wearing this shirt for? Do you condemn the grooming guns? Because China is arsehole. Do you condemn the grooming guns? Because China is arsehole. So you're another arsehole that's causing conflict then? Oh. By wearing a t-shirt saying China is an arsehole? Uh, Call it a country. Right. Not the guys. people. Not the people. Not you're the an arsehole yourself then. You just call yourself yeah. a You're doing the same thing as this I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, that's that's all that is. China. You just said, right, I'm China is So are you country, is it? You're wearing a t-shirt saying that you're No, because I'm not, I'm not China. Are you not an No, I'm not China. Are you an Do I look like Mohammed? Do you, are you Can I just express right now? I, I, I am finding this conversation very offensive. You're, oh, you're, no, you're a hypocrite. You're the, you're, the biggest you're, the hypocrite. you're the biggest hypocrite. You're the biggest hypocrite. Because the thing is, if you try to help this nice lady who's been stabbed before, none of you are helping her by saying, look, yeah, he's helping her. No, 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 I had worse, sir. I had worse. How many of you have condemned her being stabbed? Well deserved? Yeah. Yeah, you Can you question. just get his face? It is well question. deserved apparently when people are being attacked. It is I well deserved. I yeah? asked you a question. It is well start. deserved. You See that? You that's that's, that's why so Islam is her. very much dangerous to humanity. I'm on camera and spreading the hate against her. You know, you're spreading hate against his beautiful sister. Yeah? I'm not Every your day. sister, sir. I don't know you. But come on. Sir, you told me that you're stabbed. And you've got cameras on her again, and you, you're not even protecting her. So you're the <laughs> point of the camera on her and spreading the message on media and spreading more hate against her. Well done, mate. Exactly. You're a hypocrite. You're a t-shirt says you're a Look at the slogan. See? People, people who don't want us to practice our freedom of speech enjoys their practicing their freedom of speech. Yeah. Freedom of speech is one thing, but my sister got stabbed. I'm here. not your sister. She got stabbed. Who stabbed here. me? Who stabbed me? I don't know, but I'll, Oh, you don't know? I don't I'll know. help you out. told me today you got I'll, stabbed. I'll help you out. A Muslim who goes to mosque regularly yeah. and who is who has friends yeah, from no, speakers' no, no. corner. But look, look at this. Salman Rushdie is being attacked here, yeah? and it's vile what's happened to Salman Rushdie. As a fellow Christian friend, I don't think you are Christian, sir. I don't know you. Christian I don't friend. know you. I I am trying to help my sister here, not to. I don't. I don't. I don't need your head. I don't need your head. Jesus Christ, God. Are you gone? There you go. There you go. He said he's got a T-shirt saying. Takia, Takia is allowed. Even in the heart of freedom of speech, Muslims practice Takia. We are not having conversation, sir. Thank you, peace and our sister. I hope you stay safe. Freedom of speech. These cameras are pointing at you. And I, f I really feel for you, my sister. If you ever need any help or anything, just get in contact. Oh, Thank why you. don't you talk to the Muslims and then I've get that, that, well. get that I caught? I spoke why to the sister you, as well today. Why don't you go and talk to the Muslims and then tell them to go to and then report to their friends to the well. police? There you go. I spoke to your father today as well. He invited me to his church. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. She know I'm anything. protecting you. She know anything. Yes, if I can protect you, I'll be here night and day to protect you. Sir, get away from me. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. See, the language Muslims use towards my brother. That's the language they call another human being. Why? Because apparently at speaker's corner you can't say such a thing. But if you wear the t-shirt, or if you say Muhammad received revelation from Satan, that's apparently no good. People who hate freedom of speech, 
comes to speakers corner to practice their freedom of speech. You're using him as examples. Yes. That means you're bigoted yourself. You're a hypocrite. Really? That means you're a bigot. Really? Yeah, it does. Well done. You're generalizing. Well done. You're very prejudiced. Well done. Yes, you are. You're a very prejudiced person. I can smell a prejudiced person from a mile. You smell? Yes. You from smell who? Oh. From a mile. Oh, you think I smell like Muhammad? Who called black people raisin head? Who teaches black Wait. people are gonna make their way to hell black because of what? their color? His, be his best companion, one of his best companions was a black man. What he bought them. them. I've got a friend that's black. Muhammad had a friend that was black. They're that's all, the they're all racists. That's hey, the I've got a friend that's black. That's Muhammad century. had slaves who were black. Muhammad was selling black people. Yeah. yeah? America did that. America Muhammad. Did that. Um, do you follow America? Is years. America your authority? The world follows the dollar. Is America your authority? The world Muhammad the dollar. is your authority. Would follows you guys kill on the name the of America? America? What are you on about? No, man, you follow Muhammad. Follow. Sorry, you don't. We don't follow America, man. America. No, no, I'm talking about the dollar. See? The dollar. Yeah, man, I'm talking no, no, I'm, I'm talking about trade. Trade, basically. Trade. The world follows oh, the, the dollar, isn't it? I no, never no, no, come America. across America. anyone America. who thought America. Trump's feelings are hurt, therefore, we will go and kill someone. But I come across. CrossFit people who thought feelings of dead people, history, dead person is being right, killed, right, hurt, therefore we will kill that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Let's his her story. Because you're going to deal with history, you talk about a man, his, in the English form, his. What are we going to do with the originality? His, her story. In the beginning, God made man and woman. So it's about the man and the woman. He's got her story. Yes, man. I'm sorry to say. God is right. God is right, you know. Remember that. God never wrong. You know? Good talk about it. Yeah, man. Man is wrong, and leaders are wrong, and women are wrong, and rabbis are wrong, and pastors and bishops are wrong. But God, God is never wrong. Yeah, man. And even Jerry wrong sometimes, you know. Because guess what? Lucifer, Satan was wrong. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Bless the thing. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry, no, How are you, brother? Peace of Christ with you. I love you. I think you are good. How are you doing? I'm good. 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 Everything is good? Yeah, it's getting hot. Huh? It's getting hot. Oh, yes. yes. But no, it's a bit cold. Get it. Um, if the, right if now the talk it's hot. is not hot. I think from tomorrow it's going to get back to normal, but right now it's hot. Yeah, yeah, it is. Even the sun is not there, still you feel the hot. Yeah. I'm not even Step forward, sir. Step forward, step forward. Yes, yes, yes. Step into the light. Come forward, come forward. Step into the light. Yes, brother. Every state, every state. I want to ask you some questions about... Yes, brother. Salman Rushdie.